Hey guys, Oro here, and I got to play Dragon's Dogma 2. What you're seeing right now is footage from my very first one-hour play session of the game. I was fortunate enough to get invited out by Capcom to their offices in San Francisco to get an exclusive early look. I'm a massive Dragon's Dogma fan. Uh, I think the first game is one of the greatest games of all time, and 2 is already looking to be an improvement in every single way. If you don't know what Dragon's Dogma is, it's a single-player action RPG with a massive open world. It has in-depth character customization and features a unique NPC party system called Pawns, which allow you to create and customize a single pawn to your liking, then recruit two others from other players online. The Tokyo Game Show version of the game that I got to play only had three of the four starting vocations. The Archer, the Fighter, and the Thief. The fourth starting vocation, Mage, was unfortunately unavailable for the demo. I tried out all three classes and had a blast with each, but Fighter's definitely my favorite. And because I only had an hour to play, I felt really, really rushed, but I still had an absolute blast. One hour with this game was not enough. I left wanting more. Dragon's Dogma 2 is shaping up to be an incredible game. It felt like coming home again after a decade. If you played the first one, you're going to feel right at home. And if you haven't, go play it right now. However, you don't have to play the first game to understand this one. It has its own story, but it'll seem very familiar to veterans of the series, and you'll know why when you play it. Now, speaking of the story, Capcom has asked me not to discuss or show anything story-related, so all the footage you see here is pure action and exploration. The small amount of story I did experience seemed pretty fun, though. That's what I will say. The gameplay feels exactly like the first game, like one to one, which I think is a good thing and a pretty safe decision considering Dragon's Dogma has some of the best action combat out there. Your pawns are still very chatty and will constantly give you advice and talk about absolute nonsense. They are definitely an acquired taste, but personally, I find them pretty charming. Uh, in this game, though, they're actually super helpful. They'll run to you if you're ever in trouble, you get out of tough situations constantly. They'll buff you up and heal you when you need it, recover your stamina when it's drained, and even guide you towards quests if you're lost. From what I can tell, this game has a proper open world now, unlike the first game, which tried to emulate the feeling of an open world with massive zones. With my limited playtime, I focused on running around the open world, exploring and killing everything in sight. I killed lizardmen, goblins, harpies, slimes, ogres, and even a griffin. Well, I tried anyways. I didn't bother to do any quests or listen to too much dialogue because I wasn't allowed to show it off to you guys, and there just wasn't enough time. The towns are really cool though. They felt very alive, and there was tons of quests there to take on. I also got quests from random NPCs while exploring. Um, some of them were getting attacked by monsters, and some of them were just chilling and wanted my help. Uh, I found an ox cart that allowed me to hop on for 100 gold and fast travel to a major city, and that was really cool. So while exploring, I found a well that obviously I went down. Uh, it was pitch black. I couldn't see anything. Um, so I activated my lantern. Um, and then I discovered there was a crypt down here. So I, I kept on going. I opened up what was an obvious loot chest. And of course, it was a trap. Uh, tons of skeletons spawned around me, and I had to fight my way out. It was awesome. I really liked that. At the very end, I walked out into a beautiful, beautiful view of the water. And uh, it was just, it was really cool. The graphics were actually really good and obviously a huge improvement from the first game. The environments were really well detailed and the lighting in certain areas was really impressive. As for the performance, it didn't feel great. Uh, it looked like it was trying to hit 30 FPS, but it couldn't quite get there. Um, but please note, we were playing an unfinished early build of the game on PlayStation 5. So it's way, way too early to judge. I'm just hoping the final game has a performance mode on consoles that boost it up to 60 FPS and obviously has better performance overall. The soundtrack was awesome, as usual for Dragon's Dogma. All the music was super epic and well done. No complaints at all. But I have to give massive props to the sound design. So many times I would be running on the road, but I'd hear something behind me and I'd stop and investigate. I could hear goblins sneaking up on me, fights happening in the distance. It's really, really well done in this game. 
Anyways, I think that's about everything I can think of. Uh, in short, the game is looking to be more Dragon's Dogma, which I don't think anyone is opposed to, especially after a decade of waiting. I'm really, really looking forward to this game, and I can't wait to see how it turns out. Let me know what you're most excited for about Dragon's Dogma 2 in the comments. Uh, personally, I'm most excited to see more Warrior, uh, because we haven't seen the Warrior. Warrior uses two-handed sword. Uh, and in the first game, they only had three abilities, so I really want to see if they have six now. Um, because they really, really needed it. But it was super fun to play. It was my personal favorite. Uh, but anyways, before I get on a nerdy rant about Dragon's Dogma, thank you so much again for watching, guys. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe for more Dragon's Dogma, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.